All right, it is the heading into the weekend of Gambler. Just putting the final touches on a couple of things. Got to secure the battery a little better. John's working on that. We're going to put an extra wheel and tire up on the top. I'm working on that. And we got to put the skull back on and make sure we top off the coolant. And then we're rolling. All right, a quick walk around. We've got everything in place and are about to head off for Gambler 2020, COVID edition. So, got our skull fully illuminated. Got our tire. Actually, we decided to bolt it right to the roof. So we've got a spare tire just in case. Hopefully we won't have to use it. Uh, all packed up in the back. Got all of our tents. Got um, toolkit with breaker bar, everything we need to change a tire and also make any adjustments on the road. Lots of zip ties because you never know. And of course, we got Gorilla Tape in there. Um, got our cooler. Got our cooler stocked with the essentials, mostly water and some beer. Definitely have to pick up some more. And we're ready to roll. So these are our starting waypoints for Gambler. That'll take us to the meeting point where we pick up our swag and all that. This is Conversion Brewing where everybody's meeting up. Getting a gambler whiskey, gambler gear. Okay, so we just left uh, Conversion Brewing where they had all the waypoints posted, and now we are headed out. We are headed east towards Sweet Home now, and then we're gonna, at that point, follow the waypoints, see where it takes us. So, there you are. See you. There it is. Got it. Got it. Oh, I know. You know what? I know what. I, I, I think I get the, the mountain is still on there. Find it? Yeah. So the sticky part never came off. No.
do at the bottom? You have to give jump. it? There, so there's, no, a there, jump. there's a jump down there. And, oh, okay. and part but, of the thing is you have to jump. And they're but, probably going to want to watch us jump it. Oh, fuck. This thing like slides. <laughs> I better stay over this side. So we've arrived at our destination for, well, I guess it's not our final destination, but our main gambling destination for the evening on a Friday night. This is the devil's, the devil's butthole. The devil's butthole. And uh, yeah, and we're gonna be taking one of these roads. I don't know if you could see that. That behind me, that's what we're gonna be taking out. There was a pretty treacherous, rocky road that we took in from that way. So there you have it. And it was a great off-road, a great off-road adventure on the way in too. So it'll be a lot of fun. It's Saturday morning, and that's day two of the Gambler 500. We're on our way to Crater Lake. We're doing some off-roading on the way there, and there you go. That's Pat saying hi, saying good morning. So we're on our way to Crater Lake, taking a bit of a detour. This afternoon is Hoopty Cross. So, and Hoopty Cross is a timed off-road, closed course race um, with Peter Cars, and we're going to enter Pat in. So the three of us are going to try to get on the course. So that should be fun. Just leaving, just leaving Crater Lake and headed to doing some gambling on the way back to Crescent and enter, enter Pat in Hoopty Cross. Heading into Hoopty Cross. There's a line of gamblers that probably just got done racing and then we've got this line in front of us. That's where you should turn on that. You should turn on that. Going. Good man, how you doing? Good. Something's up. You might be done. Yeah. Uh-oh. Mm. 
All right, so we're here at Hoopty Cross, and we're just going through tech inspection. They have to look at a few things on the vehicle, believe it or not, although these are beaters, there's certain things that need to be in place. One of them is um, all the windows need to be go, go up. We have one problem there, but I'll show you how we fix that. And then we also, um, they need to look at the engine, make sure things like the, the positive battery terminal is covered. Things need to be secured on the inside, so we'll need to take some things out that aren't secured, but otherwise we're looking good. Uh, behind me is everybody kind of waiting and going through tech inspection. Right back there, that is where the track starts. John is up getting tickets. Um, you can't have any passengers, so we'll be flying solo, but each of us will take a turn to do that to get onto the track. Now I'll show you what our Pathfinder looks like. That's looking good. Normally you're not able to have anything strapped to the roof, but since our spare tire is bolted to the roof, we're good. And then this window, I don't know if you remember from, if, if you've seen the videos where we were actually prepping Pat over the last couple of months, this window was held up with a piece of wood. And our worry is if we go over one of the jumps or a rough road, the window is just gonna come down. Um, so what we went ahead and did was we propped the window up with a piece of wood, and then we used some Gorilla Tape to kind of do a makeshift cage just so we know it, it stays up. These two back windows don't even go down to begin with, so that's not a problem there. And the power window on the driver's side works. So I think we're good to go. So how are you feeling, Kevin? Are you feeling confident? Yeah, ready to roll. Just put that in the glove box. Ready to turn the shit the yeah. room in the glove box. What's that? Yeah, you put it in there. Did he tell you to take that off the d window? GPS? I figured they finished my hoopty cross lap and I did it in a time of three minutes 49 seconds and that beats Kevin by quite a bit and John by two seconds so there you have it absolutely awesome super cool all right we are still at hoopty cross spending the afternoon on a Saturday here and there's just a lot of oddities here that I want to make sure I share with you so what I'll go ahead and do is just put together kind of a video collage of everything that we've seen and heard and experienced here at Hoopty Cross. All right, so enjoy.
somebody, yeah, they just put him, kicked up a lot. Probably doing a donut for a fucking time. Yeah. We'll T-bone the fuck out of him. So our skull knob <laughs> broke off. So the Gorilla Tape. Good. Yeah. There you go. That's our new shifter knob. Works. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Gabler 500 2020 in the books. It was a blast. Had a lot of fun. Great roads leading from Crescent out to Fort Rock, down to Crater Lake. Of course, Hoopty Cross right in Crescent. That was a blast. Nothing like taking an off-road closed course and gunning it for time. That was just a, a lot of fun. Definitely want to do that again. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, we stayed here at Crescent Lake Campground. Very pretty campground. We didn't spend much time here, just really to sleep, and that was it. But nonetheless, very pretty. Our campground is right, uh, just right up the hill there. So there you have it. We're signing off. Take care.